Hello beautiful eyeshadow lovers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a collab with one of my good new friends, Stacy. I have watched her channel for, I want to say a couple months now. She does Project Pan videos and that's actually how I found her is I googled one of the Project Pan videos and she was there. <laughs> she, <clears throat> excuse me, she and I have been talking about doing a collab for, I want to say about two months now because she was waiting on getting some palettes in so she was able to do a collab that we wanted to do or, or that we had been talking about. And I just said, hey, let, let's do more collabs. <laughs> okay, so today's collab is going to be a palette bingo with the flamingo palette bingo flamingo <laughs> I'm a child at heart okay anyways so I have it all set up right here I'm going to be counting like this so I have 1 through 20 I am going to be picking five numbers so let's go ahead and start 15 6 14 okay let's get those so 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 14, and then 6 was the other number, right? 4, 6. Okay, so 6 was tidal wave, 14 was coral, 15 was island. Right there. Okay, so do, do, and do. Baby wipe for the for my fingers. <laughs> okay, so wipe those off, and then two more. Number nine and three. So number three is right here. Number nine, four, eight, and nine. Oh, yeah. I love this yellow shade. So these are the colors that I will be working with. This one and this one are mattes. If you can see, oh, I'm very excited. I love this color combo. Okay, so I'm gonna decide what I wanna do and I will be right back. Okay, so that didn't take too long. So I'm going to prime my eyes using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. I'd like to tell you a little bit, a little bit about Stacy right now. So Stacy, <clears throat> like I said, does Project Pans. She has been doing quite a few collabs lately, which I'm so happy to see people that I know are just working together. I feel that's so awesome when you get to work with somebody. It just opens up your world to so many other possibilities. I, I, I just think it's awesome and wonderful. Because I know when I was collabing, when I very first started YouTube, when I started to collab, I was just so thankful like I am today. But, you know, that feeling never goes away. And <clears throat> once you start working with people, it just makes you want to do it more, you know? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But... I'm so proud of you, Stacy, for coming this far. You've been just killing it over there on your channel. If I remember correctly, she's still under 100 or just barely made it over. So if you are from my channel and you like project painting and you like eyeshadow videos, she's coming out of her shell. I'm so thrilled and excited to see that from her. I need brushes and I don't know where they are. <laughs> Oh, they're behind my computer where I film. <laughs> Yay me. Okay, so I just grabbed two random brushes. I'm going to use this brush that we got in the Tetris Ipsy bag. I'm going to go into the shade Flamingos right here. That was the second or third number, I think. Oh, wait, I didn't even pull Flamingos, was it? Was it flamingos? Oh, it was coral. Oops. This is what I get for not saying the names out loud. Okay, so coral. 
right there. I was like, well, I didn't choose number one, but it looks just like it. So I'm just tapping that into my crease. I am going to blend it out with that yellow shade lemonade that I love so much. And then lemonade I'm also going to put in the inner corner. Yes. So when I said Stacy has been coming out of her shell, she has been or had been doing a lot of neutral looks. Now I'm seeing her playing with color, coming just, you know, out of her shell. Jesus, can I, can I think of another word? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Jeez. Okay, so she has a daughter, Michaela, who is in school, like I am, <laughs> except I'm not in elementary or middle school. Kayla is so freaking adorable. She's so cute. She looks as sweet as can be. Goodness. So, um, let's see. Where did I find Stacy? I know it was through a project plan. I can't remember exactly which one. Dang it. Okay, so I'm taking a bigger brush, going into lemonade. She and I kind of support each other in going through our project plans, just giving each other motivation. That's what, that's what friends need to do, is give each other motivation to finish their projects and to keep going. And I, I have no problem giving you guys tips, tricks, advice, anything you need from me. Just message me anytime, anywhere, you know. I may not get back to you immediately because of school, but I will be there, you know. I hope you know that, so. No, you do if you didn't. <laughs> but yes, I have no problem giving tips and tricks. If you guys want me to do a video, I've been seeing a lot of those lately pop up, and I, I was like, ooh, I want to do one of those. That looks fun. You know? Because any information that you guys can have is information is power. Just remember that. Okay, so. Also, like I said, I'm going to put that yellow, that was this yellow on the inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and do that just in case I forget because Lord knows I have been forgetting my inner corner lately. <laughs> okay, so there's that right there. I'm going to go ahead and put down some glitter glue. This is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm just going to put it on my fingers. Now, if I'm acting a little bit differently than normal, it is Sunday. I am studying for a test that I have on Wednesday. And it's not a test, it's a quiz, but by the time this video comes out, I will have already been taking it. I know you guys are already going to wish me good luck, so thank you. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Every time I talk about a test or anything coming in, you guys are like, good luck, and like, have fun with it, something. I love you guys absolutely so much. I know a lot of you have been messaging me, asking me how school is going. School is going great. I was able to get into my third class. <laughs> I had to basically uh, follow the teacher everywhere he went, <laughs> that kind of thing. Not really. I Monday, I was trying to get into his class after I had dropped. I had been dropped, so uh, I went to his office, found out his office hours of when he was going to be there next, found out it was Thursday, I had been emailing him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and finally I emailed him again on Thursday because he said, on it said on his board or schedule, bless you, bless you, that he wasn't going to be there until... Thursday at 3, so I had been messaging him not only every day, but Thursday at like 9 a.m. <laughs> I needed to be in his class. I needed him to know. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Island right there, this orange that we got. I'm going to put it in the innermost part of my eye right there. I can't wait to watch Stacy's video. This, We were talking about this palette and how often we use it, which is... Hardly never. 
as somebody like myself who has 60 palettes, I don't think she has that many or maybe she has around the same number. Tell me, Stacey, how many do you have again? But I barely use it and it just needs to happen. I can't wait for you guys to watch our next collab. This girl, Stacey, came up with this idea and good on you, girl. Good on you, because I'm excited. And I promise you now, you probably have never seen these colors on me, so... <sighs> oh, can't wait. Alright, so, next I'm going to go into Tidal Wave, right there. I'm going to put that on the center of my lid. I love this shade. I love a good tealy blue. My girl Nat from Little Miss Nat and I, our favorite colors are bluish teals. Mmm, girl. Yes. She's got good taste. <laughs> it's my taste. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this down. I hope my video isn't going to be too long. So uh, what I was talking to you guys about earlier is I am diagnosed with ADHD. So while I am going to school, I am taking Adderall. Yay me. <laughs> I have seen the documentary about, it's on Netflix. It, I don't know if it's there anymore, more if it is there anymore, but it is called Take Your Pills. And it was about Adderall, basically, and how it is affecting the community and your brain. And, oh my god, I can't tell you guys. Okay, I'm in college, right? So I can't tell you how many people I've seen or, like, the memes that are online saying, like, hey, do you guys have Adderall to sell? And I'm like, don't sell your pills. Like, get diagnosed and take them, like. I was diagnosed at a young age. I don't know if I technically had it or if I was just too much for people. Just my personality, but, which is fine. I love being too much for people. That's just me. But in saying that, when I'm in class or in school, I can't focus like at all. So I do take it to study, help me study, help me get good grades. I do not plan on taking it once I am done with college, um, I've just been using the same brush and the color switch. But, I, like I said, I don't plan on taking it after college, but for now, it does help me study. It's helping me get good grades. It's helping me focus and understand what I'm learning, get it all into my brain at maximum power kind of thing. So, after school... After college is done, I have three years left, like, no more. No thank you. I, I don't know if I've mentioned it here recently, but I am in business for logistics degree plan. Yeah. It's, it's fun. I'm learning so much. If you guys, I have a video idea. Please let me know if you're down for this. It is for how the makeup low buy is affecting our community or the economy in a way. I don't know exactly what I would call it, but it's. I feel like it's super interesting. And if you guys feel the same way, I would love to share that with you. But I did a paper for my economics class for extra credit because I I wanted an A. <laughs> Don't judge me, but I wanted good grades in there, so I did extra credit and I'm just going for a line now. I did extra credit and I was speaking on how this low buy that started in our community is affecting our economy. The purchases or the prices and everything on makeup so I felt it was super interesting now my e economics teacher who is a veteran and probably doesn't give a crap about makeup <laughs> he might not have found it interesting but he did 
relate economics to what I enjoy is makeup. So if you guys want me to talk on that, I would really, really love to. I think that would be super fun. Because, like, we only see it how, how it affects ourselves. We don't see it as a whole until, like, you're more aware. You know? And I want to bring awareness. So. Okay. Somehow I could not talk during that last one. I'm so sorry. I had to focus. Okay. So I am going to use my L'Oreal Blindness Original in the shade Cobalt. Cobalt. Ooh, Cobalt. This is getting pretty old. It's my dear f sweet friend Debbie gave it to me, and I don't want to get rid of it, but I'm going to have to. It sucks. I'm going to have to buy more. I think I'm going to make a ColourPop order. If you guys want to see what I buy, please let me know. I haven't made a ColourPop purchase in a good, good minute. So I think I am going to buy one particular shade, shade as in eyeshadow shade, which I know I haven't been buying eyeshadows lately because, you know, I've been on my low buy, no buy kind of thing. I've only been buying eyeshadows at 50% off, which I bought some from Alien Cosmetics. Shout out to Debbie who told me about the 50% off sale that they had a few weeks back. Love you, Debbie. Thank you. Mm. I think I'm going to put on my base makeup, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I did put on these Lily Lashes in the Faux Mink. They are in the shade, oh, shade, <laughs> style Gaia. Fun fact, that was Momo's name before we got her, was Gaia. She had 12 brothers and sisters, and... They were all named after either constellations or planets. Fun fact. <laughs> okay, so lower lash line is what I'm going to do. I'm actually, first, before that, I'm going to build that yellow up in the inner corner. So I'm going to take that shade Lemonade right there. So what was I talking about? Uh, I don't remember. It's been too long. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. There's that. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So I've been contemplating to whether I'm going to put the uh, sparkle shades on the sparkle, the metallics on the lower lash line, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to like mix that idea. Um, I'm going to go into the shade coral and take that along with my entire lower lash line instead. Yes. Okay. That's what I want. I want this to be a, I mean, granted, it would have been a wearable look if I did put the metallics on the lower lash line, but for those of you that aren't too bold <laughs> and want to recreate this look, if and ever you do, just like put it on the lower lash line. There we go. There's that. Oh, and that's so pretty. Oh. Feels so pretty. <laughs> okay. The It Cosmetics Superhero. This, it knows that I am getting rid of it. And you'll know what I'm talking about. If you saw my collab with Kitty Jane, I'll link that above for you. It knows I'm getting rid of it. It knows. So, there's that. I want to add any more. I feel like I constantly add things and now that I'm like, eh. <laughs> maybe I should have tapped on that. Okay, so this is my final look. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. I love it. I could recreate this in a heartbeat. Shoot, I might go to school like this tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. pro tip. Mm. We, we won't go that far. Okay, so. At the end of every video, I have decided now that at the end of every video, I want to leave you guys with maybe like a tip of some sort uh, to either better your lives, make it 
I, I love random, random facts, and if you like those too, I would love to leave those. <laughs> but I would like to leave one with you after every video. So the first one I want to leave you with, first and foremost, take care of yourself. Obviously, we both, both, we all know that. So what I want to tell you is if you are feeling ever stressed or life is just too much, not life is just too much. If you are feeling stressed, take vitamin C, vitamin C pill, vitamin C orange, an, or, an orange or orange juice. One of those three, vitamin C for your brain helps it so much tremendously with stress and that has really helped me. I did take a biology class about, about a year ago and that was one of the main things that we learned was stress is stress and we will always have it, but to almost help you counteract it, vitamin C. We want you guys to be happy and healthy and take care of yourselves, so that is my first tip. I do know what I'm going to be doing for like the next 10 times, but if you have any more tips that I am able to share, if you don't mind me sharing, please let me know down below what helps you guys with stress. For me, it's vitamin C, getting plenty of exercise, eating right, taking care of my body, and making sure I take plenty of breaks, which I need to work on. <laughs> we all know that, right? I, I film too much, but I enjoy it, so that's why I'm here with you and for you. If you guys have not checked out Stacy's channel already, please go do so. She's linked down below. She's amazing at what she does. She is, she, I love the effort that she puts into her channel and you can see that. So please go and check her out. I hope you all have a wonderful day. This video is going to be forever and I hope you didn't mind it. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.